Everyone has that spot around the house. It's just a little bit drab and, well, cluttered like this. Yeah, and then you start bringing stuff in and dumping it and you forget about it. <laughs> you end up with this. Yeah, yeah trip over at Poplands. But yeah. this courtyard will suffer this fate no longer, Charlie. I do like your optimism. Does that mean we've got to start with the declutter? Yeah, well, I'm looking at that pile of bricks and wondering if you want to do that and I'll do the rest. Oh, Charlie. I'm thinking in this corner, a really nice raised bench for propagating all the succulents and things like that. It's perfect. We've got north here, so it's going to get lots of sunlight. Yep. Really good spot. Something about this high. I'm describing it to you in the hope that you're going no, to No, I am. It. Listen, I'm taking it in. I'm, I'm trying to recover from uh, all those oh, plants. Right, right. I'm also thinking we're going to maybe paint, do some paint, because the red brick's pretty horrible. To break it up, yeah. Yeah, lovely yeah. screen across here with some more hanging plants. Yep. And then another bench seat around here. But Jeepers, that's a lot of work, Charlie. And the sun's just come out, I can feel it. It's steaming on my neck. It's going to take me a while to clean okay. this. <laughs> and then something a bit lower, so sit down here and look yeah, at all this look loveliness. All. Beautiful, sounds like a plan. So do I have time to finish the coffee, or you want me to start making straight I need away? I you or... to start making straight oh, away. Wait, I, don't, I know. Don't do it, get to it. Well, he wanted to come play with me. Now, when you're pressure washing something, you need to do a couple of things. First, you need to work out where the low point is, because that's where all the water is going to go. And then you start in the high point and push it all in one direction. Now, you want to be quite methodical with this. If you try and rush it, it's never going to turn out as well as if you take your time, just work slowly through the job. Well, I definitely think my coffee breaks over because Charlie has set me a mammoth task. So I want to keep this simple. To make this workbench or potting bench, I'm using 90 by 90 treated pine. They're going to be our legs. And then just some 90 by 45 for the main frame. But we want to have a lot of storage. So I'm not just going to have the top. I'll have a couple of shelves underneath as well. The first thing I'm going to do is start cutting everything up to size. <laughs> A good tip when you're doing these checkouts is to put your legs in pairs. So I'll clamp these two together. That way we know we've got a nice line and both checkouts are the same. With the checkouts complete, we can now get on to assembling this frame. For that, I'm just going to pre-drill some holes and then use some bugle screws to attach it together. Now I'm going to be putting on the top rail and the bottom rail and then I'll go over everything with some black paint. And for our bench tops, we're going to be cladding it with this beautiful black butt decking board. And to secure it in place, I'm just using these stainless steel screws and we'll end up with about a 10 mil gap in between each board. I'm absolutely loving this design. It is as solid as a rock and it's going to be perfect for planning up on. Not only that, but you could use it as a workbench or you can just have extra storage in your garage. But for us, Charlie's asked me to make an L-shaped bench. That means I need to make another three of these, so I better get cracking. I am not going to let Adam do all the work. Don't worry about that. I'm actually removing all of these dietes through here. I'm going to lift them up 
and move them elsewhere in the garden so they don't go to waste. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to create a bit of shade for the bench seat that's going down here. Because it's north facing, it's going to be quite hot. So I'm going to use a back housia or a lemon scented myrtle. That's just going to give us a bit of canopy to give us that much needed shade. All right, next job. Ooh. Citrusy. Citri odora. I really love these lemon scented myrtles. They're a fantastic tree in their own right, but we're actually going to use them almost like a pleached hedge. So you'll have a little bit of stem and then this aerial foliage up here. Now, the fragrance on this leaf is absolutely incredible. And on top of that, you get these lovely flowers as well. In between these, I'm actually using a penicetum. Now, this is a nice grass. It gets sort of a purpley tinge to the flower heads. I'm just going to intersperse those just to give it a bit more softness. So many houses have got red brick like this, and it really does date a property. And it can just be too expensive to paint the whole house. So if you've got a little courtyard like this, pick out a few walls and give those a lick of paint. It will completely transform the space. I've gone for a colour called Monument. It's going to give us a contemporary look and a really lovely backdrop to our furniture and our planting. Now, if you're good with a spray gun, you could spray this and it'd be done much quicker. But I am incredibly messy when it comes to spray guns, so I'm using a roller and then I'm using a brush. I'm just going to fill in all of the grout lines. Nah, but it had to be solid. How it's good is it? Looking good, looking good. So what we're gonna put these two in? Yeah, and then get onto the frame. Yes. I love it. Our drab makeover is certainly coming along nicely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's looking fantastic. It's amazing. A bit of a high pressure on the ground, some paint around the brickwork, but most of all, how good this bench looks. It is looking nice. Yeah. I would like it if we had this one in as well, but we've got to build this screen first, right? The screen is first. So the first thing we need to do is get these posts up against the brick wall. So I'm going to be doing a check out in these bricks. What are you going to use for that? Just like a whoosh. Well, that, I was going to ask you to do that. <laughs> make this screen, we're just using some 90 by 90 treated pine posts. We'll have three of them going across, and then to tie them all together, we'll have another one going across the top. And then, Charlie, you're going to do something magic. I'm going to put some hooks, screw into the top, and then we can have our hanging plants off those. Yeah, so it'll be like a nice greenery wall. Absolutely. And then the beautiful bench can come through. And then your second bench can come through. All right, let's fix it in place. Right, I'll hold this, you screw. <laughs> Thank you, chaps. Hi-ho, hi-ho. It's time to put the posts. Sit it on top and get it in place. Hi-ho. It's a really nice song, Ed. Thank you. Teamwork, if I've ever seen it. Perfect teamwork. All right. Yeah, nice. Well, how good does this look? Oh, that's fantastic. That's worked yeah. out really well. Nice bit of greenery, it softens the courtyard, but you get all these lovely trees in the backdrop as well. Yes, yeah, so and you know what I'm excited about? What? Now we get to bring in the rest of the workbench. Propagating bench. Whatever you said. Yes. It's a bit easier with a trolley. Oh, it's great when you've got a dolly on, eh? Nice, eh? Lovely. Does she fit together nicely? Oh, just like two bits of marine pie. Right on. You, you, um. Right on. Yeah, you and match, that? mate. Bookmark. What? Bookmark. Bookmarking, yeah, yeah. that's what that's called. <laughs> now, the homeowners 
obviously love propagating plants, and succulents are one of the easiest things to do that with. But when you get a bit of an obsession, you start using plastic pots and you leave them alone and they start to look a little bit like this. So they need a bit of a refresh before they go back into our spanking new garden. Now these plants have got really good root growth on them, but like pruning a, a plant's leaves, as you prune it, it tends to throw out more leaves. The same happens with roots. So just by snipping them off, we're going to promote more root growth. It's going to establish quicker. Now I'm going to use all these pups in this nice ceramic pot that we've got here. It's already got an aeonium in there, but I'm actually going to cut this off with a sharp knife because they can get a little bit spindly and they're just not going to reshoot from here again. And I can reuse that as well. First thing is I've got to empty this pot out and put some fresh potting mix in it. Now, I can see why these succulents haven't done very well. There's no hole in the pot, which is certain death for one of them. So I need to put a hole in. Now, this is a ceramic pot, so I've got to use a tile bit. I'm using a very small one to start with as a pilot hole. Don't go big straight away, because you'll just crack the pot. Moment of truth here. really happy with the way this has turned out. You know, if you bought this in the shops, you'd be looking at at least 150 bucks. And the bonus is you can add your own personality to it. You couldn't have gotten a bigger one? Oh, well, I wanted you to build me one, but you took long enough with those, so I figured I'd just, <laughs> just go and buy one. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Yep. <sighs> I'm starting to see a common theme here, Charlie. What's that? But you like big things. Well, the thing with the big umbrella is you get big shade, which is good. It's what we both need right now. Yeah, it's yeah? true. You can see. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Nice cover up. So that means now yeah. we can sit down yeah. and chillax. And we've still got a table, a rug, all the pots, all the dressing to do. So he's got someone to do that? Yeah. I'm looking at him. Oh, jeez. Come on. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> Lighter, isn't it? It's a little bit lighter than that one. What would you know? You didn't help with that one. No, no, but it looks like it's really yeah. heavy. That was really heavy. Ah, not quite how I imagined it, but you know, you get the picture. A forgotten about drab old courtyard transformed into not only something that's practical but somewhere to relax as well. Mate, it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe the difference. And I'm, I am loving these workbenches. Yeah, I don't want to right. talk myself up. No, you have done a good job there. I do like the screen as well. You know, it gives us a definite ending, but it's nice and open as well so it doesn't feel claustrophobic. Yeah, no, it's great. Well, I can see you ironing up those sofas. <laughs> was it, was it, it that was obvious? It was really that obvious. Yeah, okay. You don't want to do some propagating? No, I've got to get out of this, son. It's killing me.